All right, so we got Sky Dance Behemoth official world and story trailer. Let's get to the videos. Come on. I just bought a brand new vacuum. God, I put it on. Yeah. Oh, wowzer. Sky Dance Gibbs. The curse dooms our home. Oh, wow. Black rot eats our flesh. Damn, they got that twitch brain right. Consumes every soul. Salvation lies in the forsaken lands. Its foul behemoths are the source of our affection. Oh snap! Okay. Oh, split the sandwich in half. Corner to corner. Be our light in the dark. You walk on hallowed ground. Yo, who is that talking? Listen to me, Ren. There is no freedom while the curse remains. I can still feel the black rot in your Together, we will be stronger. Yo, did she just part? Oh! Man, hey, he ain't that man big. I won't let the curse take my people. I'll fight. No matter what it takes. Ooh. Hey, is this VR or something? Like, why does it look VR? Oh. Oh, I knew it. See, I told you. Yeah, it's VR. Cause at first, right? I, at first, I was a little, I was a little uh, bunfused. I was like, "Wait a minute, this little, like, it looked like gameplay. It looked like obviously, like you know, it's gameplay, whatever. But it looked like it could be on like PlayStation or Xbox or like PC or whatever. But then I'm like, hold up, it looks like a little funny. Like it, look, it looks like 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 the arms were like floating a little bit. I'm thinking, okay, wait, this got to be VR. I think at the end it kind of like confirmed that it was VR, cause like it's like a lot of grabbing and stuff like that. I don't really see like this person like doing like a lot of like uh, running or whatever. So I'm thinking, okay, cool, it's a first person game, and then like. It just does like a lot of like hand movements, like you know, fighting, punching, swinging a sword, uh, gr like swinging from, you know, from this country to this country. I'm like, okay, this is definitely VR. But to be honest with you, like you know, it like a VR game, VR games that have, um, like VR games that like that have a lot of like drama or like story behind it. I tend to see like those games like really succeed. Like, for example, um, I don't know, for example. Okay, I could use a recent game, Batman Arkham Shadow. I don't want now, let's be honest. Was that like the like the most popular game that dropped in October? No. But at the same time, in my personal opinion, I think that it did good. I watched some gameplay. Um, I didn't play it because I don't have a, you know, VR two or meta quest or whatever. I don't have any of that. But I did watch some gameplay and to be honest with you, it actually didn't look bad. So uh, and I know Batman Arkham Shadow was it had like an actual story like along with it. As a matter of fact, I think we're actually going to react to the, uh, like, full... I think we're going to react to, like, all the bosses that were in the game or something like that. It's like a 30-minute video. We'll check it out for you guys. But, um, or no, I'll check it out for you guys. I, I used to say we because, like, you know, we're a thing and, like, you know, that we, like... You know, we watch the video, stuff like that. If that's cringy and geeky, I won't say it again. But listen, um, but yeah, games like Batman Arkham Shadow, you know, games that have, like, a story and stuff like that, those games really tend to do well. It's just for me, I can't really, like, you know, put, like, a whole headset on my head for like more than like two hours i, I feel like i'll be i'll just be going crazy but uh if i'm being completely honest with you like i said games that have a story they usually like do well but when you have games like uh like like um like the little beat game like the, like the uh you gotta like slash like the uh red and blue like, i think it's called like lightsaber or beat saber or whatever uh we have games like that those are usually fun uh, but I think games that have like a lot of emotion and a lot of like, you know, story and like, you know, drama with it or whatever. I think those games really tend to do well on the VR. I, like, I don't know if you're a, if you are a, uh, you know, VR streamer or like a VR YouTuber, you know, a person that, you know, plays a lot of like VR games or whatever. Then, uh, you know, obviously, you know more than me because I'm, I'm only just going off a of hypothesis. But at the same time. Um, I can try to go off of like my own experience stuff like that, you know, of watching some gameplay of, you know, watching some story and stuff like that. So in my personal opinion. 
games that have a story they do okay um games that are just pure fun or whatever they do okay as well so um the whole vr thing just itself like it's crazy you know because i never thought like bro if you would ask me about like vr gaming 10 years ago literally 10 years ago in 2014 when i was like when i was like growing up like 19 11 12 or whatever um it's crazy because i actually forgot my age 10 years ago wait let me do the math 10 years ago okay i was like 11 turn 10 or 11 um but yeah bro if you were to ask me about vr gaming 10 years ago i would have been like bro what the hell are you talking about like what, what, what are you talking about we're gonna put this thing over our faces and we're gonna see gameplay of this close and we're gonna like be using these two things to like you know pick up things like what, what do you what, what what is virtual gaming like bro what is that like what is virtual reality gaming that's gonna confuse me so uh comment down below man what do you guys think about this uh it looks pretty good it looks like a vr game i don't mean that in a disrespectful way but a lot of vr games uh, tend to give off that quality. Um, and I don't know if that's like the quality that you will see whenever you play the game, but I imagine it's way better whenever you actually play than, than, than the gameplay that we see uh, on the video. Does that make sense? And I, I, you know, listen, I got this video in, in like the highest quality. So, I mean, it, it has like the VR quality to it, but um, if I'm being honest with you, it actually doesn't look bad. Uh, it looks pretty fun. It looks very dramatic as well uh it looks like this game has a story so i mean listen comment down below man what you guys think about this make sure you guys like the subscribe channel if you're new and 